IBS is established in 2016 to support and complement Singapore Smart Nations initiatives. We aim to develop strategic capabilities in data science analytics. Our mission is to leverage and strengthen data science expertise for transdisciplinary and translational research into important real-world problems. So we seek to collaborate with partners to contribute to innovation and solutions across a diverse range of sectors. For the Jarvis project, we have been working with our partners from SingHealth to tackle the grand challenge set up by AI Singapore in order to stop or slow down diabetics, hypertension and dyslipidemia progressions as well as their complications by 20% in five years. AI Singapore announced the Health Grand Challenge in June 2018. The Grand Challenge aims to solve major societal problems faced by Singapore and the world by translating research into impact. Jarvis is a collaboration between a multidisciplinary team of clinicians, data scientists and health services researchers. And our aim is to use artificial intelligence to support better care for patients with diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia. The key issues of the current environment in Singapore is that the information is not localised to the local context. We plan to address this by focusing on three themes. First, from one size fits all to personalised care. And we do this by facilitating the practice of evidence-based personalised care for shared decision making. Second, we wanted to transform reactive care to predictive care through early screening and risk stratification. And finally, we wanted to empower our patients such that they become an activated patient in order to take ownership of their own healthcare journey beyond the clinical visits. So specifically, we have developed four tools. The first is what we call the Jarvis Primary Care Decision Support Tool. This is derived from a large database of several thousand patients seen at our Sing Health Polyclinics. And using similarity analysis, it will actually help guide the clinicians to have meaningful discussions with patients about where they are in terms of managing their diabetes or their hypertension and be able to guide them on choices in terms of medications, treatment or lifestyle in order to prevent complications in the long term. So we foresee one of the upcoming challenges will be to integrate the tool we develop within our clinical workflows and IT systems. To achieve this, we plan to embark on a multi-site implementation trial to test the effectiveness of the decision support tool as part of diabetes management in the polyclinics. The second tool is what we call the Jarvis Advanced Care Decision Support Tool. And this is meant to be used in our diabetes specialty clinics, which see the more complex patients that are already having some complications from diabetes. Much of our disease modeling is derived from Western European and North American data. Singapore is a diverse, multi-ethnic and multicultural society. There are some key differences between diabetes we see in Asians versus diabetes in the rest of the world. For example, patients develop diabetes at a much younger age here and at a lower BMI. Because of the unique nature of diabetes in, in Asia, predicting the risk of diabetes complications and responses to treatment based on patients from Dublin or Chicago is inherently flawed. So our diabetes workstream has developed a machine learning model to predict the five-year risk of major cardiovascular events, or MACE for short, in Asian patients with type 2 diabetes. And we base this off uh, clinical, pharmacological and biochemical data from the Singhal Diabetes Registry. This model was developed and validated using longitudinal data from over 120,000 patients over a period of 10 years. So we're glad to say that our model has shown good performance and future work will involve external validation of the model using other Asian databases and developing models to predict the risk of other diabetes complications. Thirdly, we have uh, something called the Jarvis screening tools, which are using advanced AI on image analysis of both images from the eye fundal photography, as well as heart scans. And we hope that by using these screening tools, we'll be able to detect patients at high risk of complications early. Over half of our patients with diabetes have achieved glycemic control and even more have attained blood pressure and cholesterol treatment goals over the last three years. 
while the uptake rates of screening and immunization have improved significantly over the past two decades, a subset of the population have yet to participate in such evidence-based preventive measures. We are leveraging on research and innovations to prevent complications to patients with existing non-communicable diseases, such as chronic kidney diseases, diabetic retinopathies, lower limb amputations in those with diabetes. And finally, we have the Empower Group, which is working on patient-facing wearables as well as a mobile phone app. To empower patients, uh, we develop a patient-facing platform that provides uh, the behaviour nudges to monitor, uh, motivate and maintain patient uh, lifestyle behaviour. We are also designing an emotion-aware robot to provide companionship and allow better insights into the emotional well-being of patients. Now we have an expanding arsenal of drugs, surgical and lifestyle interventions for diabetes and we can better serve patients by directing these treatments appropriately. Through accurate risk stratification, valuable resources can be focused on patients at greater risk, improving the health of our population as a whole. Patients will be empowered to take ownership of their healthcare journeys through AI technologies. We look forward to seeing lives being transformed by the proposed AI solution. Now, if successful, we'll be able to actually scale this up both uh, nationally in Singapore as well as apply this in other countries and work with partners to be able to use these solutions to help their patients.